Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, I am gonna show you how you can make your header banner clickable in the new Dawn 6.0.2 version. Now, this video is gonna be relatively quick because I'm just going to function with the image banner, period. That's it. If you don't know who I am, I am D. I'm the design diva. What I do is I create pre-made uh, professional graphic design templates over on my Etsy shop for entrepreneurs and the entrepreneurs who like the DIY um, for their social media, their Shopify's and things like that. So I will put a link in the description below so you can go check out my work, but I'm going to give you um, an example of how you can make the image banner clickable. You're going to be messing with some code in this, and I'm pretty sure there are some uh, beginner developers as well that are struggling with this part of things, especially with the new version of the 6.02 um, version of the Dawn thing. So if we, first things first, back up your site. So if you have a site already up, Make sure that you download your theme files and things like that. In case you make a mistake, you can easily upload it back and revert. Or you can always keep a copy, which I always keep a copy of the original down here. And I always make a copy of, I duplicate it. And then I always work on the duplicated site. I don't never work on the real Dawn in case I need to replace it. But I digress. So let's customize. Say like this is your site. Let's customize it. It's brand new Shopify. And we want this banner clickable. So what I'm going to do, let me uh -oh, leave this because I was working on a few other things, but let me, and I need that up. Okay. So, cause I'm going to show you an example of where you probably are looking online. So we're in Shopify, we're in the Dawn theme, and this is the layout. This is how it's going to look as soon as you open Dawn. Okay. So let's work on this image banner. If we were to preview let me duplicate this real quick and just take this out so that way we can move a little faster preview the site okay so if we go this is what it looks like right now right let me hide this banner we want this to be clickable of course they can click the button but say we got a real jazzy image up here and in our image it says shop now and we want them to be able to click it and do what it do I'm gonna use an example of one of my clients banners that I created custom um as an example in this tutorial but you don't want the words here so let's go ahead and let us upload an image how about that okay we're going to use the image that i already uploaded and we're going to press select now there's several things going on we selected our image you want to save often and we're going to refresh so we can look at over here okay several things going on right here first of all is dark Okay, we can see that it's darker. We don't want that. We want the color to shine through. We also see this here. We don't want that button there because we have a shop now button built into our graphic. We don't want this button here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna remove, first things first, we're gonna remove all this stuff, all this extra text that we don't want because we want our banner to shine. Okay, so now we're gonna save. Okay, so now that part is gone. So if we refresh, we see that the word that the buttons and the words are gone. Great. Now, but it's still dark and it's sitting kind of funky. It, it's not showing the whole graphic for real. So if you notice, this is the first image. There's nowhere to make a link. Like we can't make it click anywhere. There's no option anywhere in this for that. And I typically don't work with a second image, not unless it's a slider, but again, this is only for like if you have an image banner like this, one banner that you want to work with. Now, Dawn theme automatically has the overlay on this image, right? Because some people upload very bright images and they want their words to shine through in those image blocks that we, I mean, in those text blocks that we just deleted. But in our case, we want it to shine. So we want to set the opacity to zero. Ooh, that looks better. Okay, so now it's bright. And also another change we're going to make. We want to keep this large because this banner is made for a large banner. But we want to adapt section height to the first image. That looks better. Okay, so now we're going to save. Now let's go and refresh and you're going to see the difference. Wonderful. Okay, so now somebody's come to our site, 
and it's a big shop now button right here and as you can see when I move my mouse fast it blows it up but they can't click it's not doing anything we want it to click and we want it to show all of our products so but it's not doing that so how do we make it do that okay the first thing a normal person non-techie person or even a beginning even me what I did was I googled and I'm gonna take this off just because I'm gonna show you real life you're gonna be like how you gonna be like clickable hold on you're gonna be like clickable banner image banner for dawn theme Shopify okay and most likely you're gonna look at this and you're gonna look at this now you're gonna probably go to this dawn theme code because you can see it's in the Shopify community so that's probably gonna be the first place you click but when you click on that in the community you're gonna see all of this down here and then you're gonna be seeing codes and stuff like that you're gonna be seeing codes it's gonna tell you to do this now I've tried this code this code doesn't work okay so I tried it myself so I know this code doesn't work and I kept looking which brought me back to this one all right now this easy FY easy fly I don't know but I like it right so it tells you what to do it tells you to go to your themes copy the code and edit the code into the image banner dot liquid file and here's the code right here so what I did was I opened the code which you probably do I copied all of it right copy it all the way down to the bottom all of it do not miss anything okay um, all of it so now we go back here and then now it's like okay you can get to edit your code here at edit code or in my case I like to keep up two windows okay because I like to go to the code from here because I like to see what's happening over here so I design these for my clients so I want to see what my clients is gonna see on this side right so I, I want to make sure that nothing messes up so now I'm over here so now it said to change the image banner file right let me go back and try to find where it said that at for the instructor there you go image banner liquid even though I already know that but in case you don't you can search and there it goes it's actually in the sections area now what it said was delete all of it and then paste their code in and press save okay all right so now I'm gonna come over here back in this area and I want to refresh it right because we put the code in now so now I want to refresh it voila look what happened over here in the in the back end we got a link now we can put a link there and we also have a little button that says open up tab in uh, in a new window Whoa, that wasn't there before okay so we can put our link in okay we want it to go to we want this image to go to all our products okay wonderful let's save so now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna save or refresh should I say and now look we got a little cursor hand and when we click anywhere on our image it takes us to our products wonderful wonderful I thought it was wonderful too until I noticed something else on the back end so now okay it works so now you're gonna go back on the back end and you're gonna finish laying out your back end but hold on wait a minute what is this error code what is this error code in the back end telling me that something is not right this is not this translation isn't right in the code and it's saying that the uh, language file the US language file because I have my website in English right the US language file doesn't have this this code in there it, it doesn't have this I do not want my back-end users my clients to see this code right especially if you're designing for somebody else you don't want them to be back there and they looking at this and they are like what's this and they're clicking on it and thinking it's an option or something right but it's really an error message telling you there's an error inside the code even though it works and the reason why it works is because this code was built on a older dawn theme okay remember we're working with the dawn um 6.0 now you know I think this was made for dawn too to be honest with you I don't know exactly what version so don't quote me but they made some pretty good code and the reason why I say they made some pretty good code at the easy fly is because I was able to go through this code and fix it all right so I'm gonna put a link below with the fix code in there okay now with some few things I did with my code that you I'm giving it to you so you can use 
I took out this option to open up the image in a new tab because most of my clients, when someone clicks on their shop now button, they do not want it to open up in another tab. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. For example, I click the open in a new tab. Let's refresh. Let me go back to home page. Okay, I'm gonna refresh this again, even though it did. Okay, so I don't want it to do that. I don't want it to be on two different tabs, right? I want it to upload in the same tab for my, it makes better usability. The only time you really put this to open up in a new tab is if you're sending them to somebody else's website, or if you're sending them somewhere else outside of your site, of course you want them to still be able to come back to your site real easy, right? But most of the time when you're building a Shopify store for clients, they don't want people to go to another site. They want them to stay on theirs. And hopefully the same. So I took this out of my code. Also, I named this different, okay? Because you can make it say what you want it to say when you code, okay? So that says something different. However, mine don't have this file code in there because I fixed it, all right? So let's go back to our editor. I am going to go back to the image banner code because now I'm about to put in the fixed code, which is mine's. Okay, so I am going to highlight that, take that out. Okay, now I'm going to go highlight my code, the code I'm going to link to the in the description below, and I'm going to paste it in, and I'm going to save. Okay, so now I saved the code. I'm about to come over here. I'm about to refresh. And as you can see, it says banner image link. You can link it to wherever you want. Same thing. You can link it to wherever you want. It's only going to work on the first image, not the second. Okay. As you can see, that uh, opening a new tab is not there. I could have put it there, but I didn't. I didn't want it there. Okay. Now, if we scroll down, that code, that error message is gone. Right. I fixed it. Okay. So this is the updated code for the 6.0.2 version of the Dawn. Okay. So that code is fixed. Now I'm going to go over here and refresh. So you can see that the code still works. It still takes you to the products page, okay? So I'm gonna link everything in the description below if you need banners or if you're not a designer and you want some pre-made templates that look fly like this, you know, nice and fly, then go ahead and click the link. You can check out my Etsy shop below. So I hope this was helpful. Also to my fellow uh, web developers in the world, I was searching everywhere to get the code fixed, okay? And then I just had to go and print it out and go line by line. And y'all know how that is in the design world, in the, in the web developer world. Um, it's tedious because you're talking about over 400 lines of code, right? And you can't get nothing messed up, not a quotation, not a comma, not nothing. So I went through the code and I actually fixed the code. So this code is fixed for the new dawn. So hope that was helpful. I also want to throw in some um, extra bonus for you. If you were to put another image banner somewhere else on your page, and let's just say, we're, let's just turn them off, right? Okay. So you can't see them. If you were to use a different image banner, you still can put a link on it. Okay. Let me try to find another image real quick that I can, uh-oh. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Let me drop another one in there that I made for a client. Okay, so we down here on this image banner. You can throw another image banner in there. Uh-oh. Select, right? And since this says tag us in your selfies, I can link this to, I can type in instagram.com forward slash the design diva enter or click there to set it up in there and then we can save right so now it can go take them to my instagram so if we were to refresh you see the banner uh oh i forgot to adapt the size don't forget to do that large this banner is large so don't forget to adapt to size. Let me refresh. I can see that it was cut off. It would cut off like this if you don't adapt it to size. See? So this is clickable too. And that's going to take them to Instagram. 
okay? This is my new Instagram page, not my personal one. So it's gonna take them there. So I'm just letting you know, you can keep using the image banner and keep linking, right? So it's great. And everything can have its own link. Its own image banner can have its own link. However, it will not work on image two because I've tried it. I didn't code it for image two, just to be honest with you. But if you're a web developer, you know how to code for more than one link, more, more than one image link, then you can add that into the code yourself. But this code is basically for the beginners who just want a banner and want their banner clickable in the new dawn. All right. Love y'all. Until the next video. Bye.